So we had the Freescale Technology Forum and you have the IMX53 uh, Quick Start Board. What is that? Uh, this Quick Start Board is an evaluation kit and um, when you pull it out of the box, let me show you. Um, it comes with a lot of the peripherals, the power supply, a micro to USB cable, and also a micro SD card. So it's the whole kit. You can you can start computing with the IMX. Yes, if you so want. It's actually um, in this demo. It's driving this display. It's a uh, through HDMI. Um, there's a separate module that comes um, as an add-on. It's forty-nine dollars resale. The part number for this one is HDMI, oh, sorry, MCIMX HDMI card, C A R D. That's the full part number. All right, so where do you put it on? If you get you that it, HDMI. You put it on this expansion port right here. You can put the uh, HDMI module on here, or you can put the parallel LCD with the touchscreen controller on it. So, so you can have either just a HDMI out or a touchscreen, like a tablet kind of feature set. Yes. All right. So, since when is this available? Since uh, March, we've been shipping the Quick Start, and so it's been a very, very popular device. Yep. So, what I, what's inside here? What do you have? So, um, it's running the iDynamics 53 processor. It's ARM Cortex A8, running at one gigahertz. Um, it's uh, the peripherals that are on here are the micro SD card slot. This is what it boots from. We have a normal size standard SD card slot here. You can sort, uh, put in content or connect a Wi-Fi card through SDIO. There are uh, user-defined buttons up here that you can, um, if you're doing Android, you can program it to do home or um, back. And then there's a micro USB card slot here. Or sorry, micro USB slot here. And then an Ethernet port for debug and two USBs here. And then you have your microphone jack here and your stereo phone jack here. And then the five volt volt power supply plugs into this part here. Um, there's also a serial connector here and a VGA, as well as a connector for your SATA hard disk drive. So we've tested it with a 32 gigabyte drive from SanDisk, and it works. All right. So, um, so where can you buy this? You can actually buy it from Freescale um, through our bi-direct program. So freescale.com/imx uh, imx quickstart, or you can buy it through distribution. And it can be bought, uh, if you buy it from Freescale, you pay credit card, you get it a few days later, how does it work? Yes, uh, you can use credit card, uh, depending on availability, um, you should be able to get it within a couple weeks. Alright, and do you have some accessories like a screen as well that yes. you can buy from Freescale or so somebody else? This is from Freescale as well, or you can buy it through distribution. Um, this is the iDotMX28 LCD, it plugs into the expansion slot through this connector here, onto the quick start board. So that's what you were talking about. It was either this or the HDMI. Or uh, there's also, so this is a 4.3 inch resistive touchscreen. We also have another option that will plug into the LVDS port that's on the bottom of the board. And um, that one's a 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen. And how much is a 10.1 inch capacitive? That one's $4.99 resale. Just the screen? Uh, it's, a, it's a module like this, the screen, yeah. and it comes on the board with a connector. It, it has a ribbon connector for the LVDS. Um, and then it plugs into the bottom of the board. All right, this is really a compact board. And uh, how many is Freescale going to make of these? Or how oh, many have they made? Oh, yeah. is, is there okay. official numbers yet? or? Um, no, I mean, it's a very popular board. So, I mean, we've shipped over 1,500 units already this year. Is it? Does it seem to be more popular than the IMX51 board? Yes. Or originally yes. once was? It's selling lot, much faster. A lot more popular because I think it's lower cost and um, we also have it on the community site. So a lot of developers are passing information back and forth on that site. It's imxcommunity.org. And uh, it seems to be more compact than the previous board. Yes, it's a lot. So the 51 EVK was about this size for the board. That size. And then as you can see with the quick start, it's pretty small and compact. Nice. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks.